Hello, Henry. Good evening. Henry. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Welcome to the class. Hello. Uh, Hello. Yes. Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening. How are well, you, teacher? I'm very well, thank you. And you, how are you? Ah, okay, teacher. And you, Henry? Um, cansado. Oh, you feel tired tonight. It's tired. Okay. Yes. Don't, don't worry, tomorrow is Friday, right? Yes. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's great. Jacqueline, how are you tonight? Fine, estoy entrando a la casa ahorita. Pensé que no me iba a poder conectar. Ah, ok. Um, I don't know what's happening with the rest of your classroom. They are coming, probably. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Rolando. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ok, that's excellent. Veo que todo se ha tardado un poquito. <laughs> ah, yes, I can see that too. I don't know what is happening. Probably it's because of the bad weather. No lo creo. Mañana es asueto. <laughs> ok, andan comprando el regalo para el día del padre. Eh, comiendo pupusas. Ahí el antiguo estaba llenísimo. <laughs> ah, no salieron a tiempo. <laughs> Good evening, Rolando. Good evening, Henry. How are you? Hey, I am fine. And you? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Okay, and what about you? Uh, are you ready with the present for your father tomorrow? Yes, uh, yes. Yes, uh, Jacqueline, can you listen to me? Henry? Yes, Hoy teacher. Hoy sí. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you so much. Oh, well, uh, let's start with the class tonight, right? The first activity for tonight is uh, describe your father. Can you please describe your father tonight? Who wants? Who wants to try? Try to describe your father. Using the adjective and the verb to be and the verb have to describe. Any volunteer to start the first activity of tonight? Who went? Who went? Hello, Xiomara. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. So, Take a minute if you want to prepare your sentences and describe your father, the physical appearance of your father. Who wants to start? Quien quiere comenzar la actividad? Vamos a describir a su papá. Who wants to start? Okay. Uh, my father was a tall person. Okay. Uh, uh, person nice uh, and happy. Positive, uh, positive person. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent sentences. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Rolando. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, teacher. Uh, my my father is very special and super make and super make a como se dice en todo momento. All the time. Sí, perdón. <laughs> Okay, he has all been the time. Oh, okay, all all time. time. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's excellent. 
And what about his physical appearance? Is he tall? Is he tall? Is he short? Henry, help me. You say he is tall. He's he tall. Is short. Um, he I, is, am, I am happy. Oh, he is happy. Okay, yeah. excellent. Any other volunteer? Who wants? Try to describe your father. If you want. Hello, Yancy. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Nobody Good wants. Teacher. Good evening. Hello. Nobody wants to describe your father. Tomorrow is Father Day. Okay. If not, let's start with tonight's class. Uh, let me show you. Hello, Juan. Welcome to the class. Oh, he is still getting connected. Hello, Juan. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to show you the presentation for tonight. And tonight we are going to study this topic. Yesterday we were talking about this, right? So today we are going to study. Just a second. It is taking its time. Okay, I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you see the presentation? Can you please let me know? Can yes, I see them. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, good evening, Juan. So, Jeroen and Parisipol, that is the topic for tonight. We're going to study this, right? In the lesson objective, in this session, you will learn how to identify Jeroen and Parisipol in sentences. So, here we go. Let's start with this. But before to go to Gerund and participles. Let's remember yesterday question. Yesterday we were using modifiers and participles and also preposition to identify people. So let's see, I have this picture here. Uh, let me see. He is Axel. He is Axel. If I ask you, uh, who is Axel? ¿Cuál sería una buena oración para que usted me ayude a identificarlo? Can you help me with that, please? Axel is the man with mustache. Okay, excellent. Axel is the man with mustache. With um with mouse touch, excellent. Um, uh, Axel and Axel. 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 Axel is the main in the next computer. Oh, okay. Axel is the man next to the computer. That is using preposition. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. What's your question? Hmm. ¿Cómo se dice barba? Babe. Bird. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, any other sentence? Help me to identify Axel. Aparte de is the man, Axel is the man, ¿cuál era la otra opción? What is was the, the one. Other? Axel is the one near computer. With no, uh -huh. Axel is the one near computer. Okay, Axel is the man next to the computer. Thank you. Okay. He's the one. He's the one, okay. Mm -hmm. Esos son los dos que podíamos utilizar, ¿verdad? Y Axel is the man o Axel is the one. 
tell me, tell me another two sentences to identify Axel. You can use her eyes, the t-shirt. Uh, Axel is the um, wearing t-shirt. Okay, excellent. Axel is the one wearing a black t-shirt. Excellent. Uh, the last one, the last. What about his hair? Axel is the one with long hair. And what about the earring? ¿Cómo sería esa oración para identificarlo por su área? Okay, thank you, Juan. So uh, Axel is the one wearing earrings, wearing an earring. Wearing thank you. earring. <laughs> okay, very good. Now let's identify Roxanne. She is Roxanne. Can you tell me some sentences to identify her? She has curly hair, curly hair. Okay, that is a good sentence to describe her. She has curly hair. But using the modifiers, the participle or prepositions, can you tell me some sentences? Let's practice. Axel is the man sitting next to the girl. Okay, excellent. Roxana. Roxana is the woman sitting next to the Axel. Okay, next to Axel. Next to Axel. Thank you. Thank you, Yancy. Excellent sentence. Help me. Tell me another one. Let's identify Roxanne. She is the woman. She is the one. Roxana is the woman uh, using the computer. Okay, excellent. Roxana is the woman who is using the computer. Thank you. What do you say, teacher Chaleco? Best. Best. Entonces, Roxana is the one wearing the best. Así. Ok, Roxana is the one wearing a gray best. Muy bien, a gray best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other? You can say Roxana is the woman with long or short, I guess, with short curly hair. Look, teacher, uh, yes. Roxana shows his presentation. Presentation. Oh, you say Roxana is the one who is presenting or showing a presentation. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. No more sentences? Okay, let's identify here. Yeah. Let's identify Mark. He is Mark. Who's Mark? Who is Mark or which one is Mark? Mark is the man, no, Mark is the one with hair curly, curly hair. with curly hair. Ah, okay, with curly hair. Yes, it's a good sentence. Mark is the, uh, is the woman uh, using t-shirt. White t-shirt. Oh, Mark, the woman or the man? Ah, man, it's the man. <laughs> okay, Mark is the man wearing, wearing a, a white shirt. A white 
shirt. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And now, let's say two sentences to identify. Let's see, let's write Oscar. To identify Oscar, he's Oscar. Who is Oscar? That's the question. Oscar is, is the man with the uh, hand, hand watch and he explained the, the, the presentation. Okay. Oscar is the man who is explain oh, Oscar is the man explaining the presentation. Very good. Oscar explains his touch days. Oscar explica su tarea. <laughs> okay, Oscar. Oscar is the man explaining his homework or explaining the homework. Oh, okay. okay. Oscar, Oscar is the main wedding clock. Okay, excellent. Oscar is the man wearing a clock, a watch. Sorry, a watch. A watch. Okay. Yes, clock is el grande que tenemos en la sala. Eh, watch. That is the work. Do you have any question about this? Questions? Okay, if you don't have any other question, let's go with the next. So I'm going to erase this. Thank you so much for your sentences. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Let's go with the next slide then. Okay, tonight we're going to study gerund and participles. So, Gerunds and participle are made from verbs, adding the I in the form. And they are similar in this. They are very similar. What's the difference? The difference is the function of gerund and participles in a sentence. Gerunds are nouns. Gerunds are nouns and participles can be objective and also bear tenses. So, los gerundios y los participios son formados a partir de verbos, a partir de los verbos, agregando la forma ing. For example, the next bird, what is the right ing form? I have this bear here, it. What is the ing form of this bear? Eating. Okay, it's kind of easy, right? Eating. What about this? Crying. Okay, excellent. Crying. Then we add ing to make gerund and participles. Let's see the other one. Sit. What's the I in the form? Sitting. Okay, sitting. So look at this, eating, crying, and sitting. So ellos pueden ser gerundios o pueden ser también participios. ¿De qué va a depender? Va a depender de la función que estos tengan dentro de una oración. Los gerundios van a funcionar como nombres y los participios funcionan como adjetivos y como uh, verbos. Adjetivos y verbos en los diferentes tiempos. We're going to see some examples. So don't forget about this. Son muy similares. Depende de si son nombres, adjetivos o verbos. Look at this. Un gerund. Un gerundio puede funcionar en una oración como subject, como sujeto, direct object, como objeto directo, 
indirect object como objeto indirecto o object of the preposition, objeto de la preposición. Let's take a look at the following example. A studying can be difficult and expensive. Estudiar puede ser difícil y costoso eh, de dinero. Es caro estudiar. Is it true or false? It's true. That is true, right? So studying can be a difficult and expensive. So in this sentence, studying is a gerund. Es un nombre. Y en la oración está funcionando como un subject. ¿Qué es difícil y caro? Studying. That, that is the sub. Es el sujeto de esta oración. Mary enjoy studying. Es un objeto directo. ¿Qué disfruta María? Stand. Estudiar. En este caso, este verbo en ing form está funcionando como objeto directo. Es ayeron, es un gerundio, es un nombre. Keren was tired of studying. Keren estaba cansada de estudiar. En este caso, es, tiene la función, es un nombre y tiene la función de objeto de la preposición. So, en la primera, studying subject. Mary enjoy studying. Mary disfruta estudiar. Ese sería objeto directo. Karen was tired of studying. Object of the preposition. Entonces, un gerundio puede ser, es un nombre que puede funcionar como sujeto, objeto directo, objeto indirecto o objeto de la preposición. Don't forget about this. Think of a gerund as an activity. Para poder identificarlos, podemos pensar de un gerundio como una actividad. Por ejemplo, en estas oraciones, ¿cuál era la actividad? ¿Cuál era la actividad? Estudiar. 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 Muy bien. Any volunteer to read these three sentences just to practice one. I have two volunteers in this exercise. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline first, and then Xiomara. Go ahead, yes. Jacqueline. Okay. Uh, studying can be difficult and expensive. Mary enjoys studying. Karen was tired of studying. Thank you, Xiomara. It's your turn. Excellent job, Jacqueline. Thank you. Studying can be difficult and expensive. Mary enjoy studying. Karen was tired of studying. Well done. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Those were gerunds. Then let's go with participle. So look at this. Carmen is studying math. You will be studying math. The studying girl won a medal. So the first sentence, Carmen está estudiando matemáticas. En este caso es un participio, pero es un adjetivo o es un verbo? What do you think? Carmen is studying math. It's a verb. En este caso es un verbo, ¿verdad? está en el presente progresivo. Carmen es studying math. En este momento, Carmen está estudiando matemáticas. Está funcionando como verbo. You will be studying math. Again, it's a, it's a verb. Es un verbo. Tú yes. estarás estudiando matemáticas. It's a verb. Ahora, en la última oración, the studying girls won a medal. What about this one? Is an adjective or is a verb? Adjective. It's an adjective. It's an adjective that modifies the noun girl. So, la chica estudiosa ganó una 
Medalla. medalla. ¿Alguien se ganó una medalla en la escuela? Did you win a medal at school or high school? No, but yes. yes. Okay, that's perfect. Very good. You were an excellent student. And then participles can be verbs o pueden ser adjetivos. Verbo o adjetivo. Participles. In gerund, always nouns. Siempre nombres. Los gerundios, siempre nombres. Y los participles, participios, verbs o adjetivos. Let's go with the next thing here. Uh, any volunteer to read these sentences? Just to practice, please. Who wants? Who wants to try? Let me know, please, if you want to read the sentences. Then let's choose Jancy. Can you help me, Jancy, please, reading the sentences? Yes, teacher. Uh, participle, Carmen, Carmen is studying math. You will be studying math. The studying girl won a medal. Excellent. Thank you so much. Just one more. Who wants to try? One more. Okay, no volunteers. Let me choose. Suleyma, can you help me, please? Hello, teacher. Hello, Suleyma. Okay. Can, can you please read the three sentences there? Okay. Participle, Carmen is studying math. You will be studying math. The study girl won a medal. Excellent. Thank you. Participle. Yes, Hello. Do you have a question? Comment or do you want to read? No, no, I'm sorry. Okay, Henry, it's okay. Okay, now let's identify Jeron or participle. Yes? Eh, solo, quiero, solo quiero confirmar. Un gerundio puede ser un nombre o un verbo. Y un participio puede ser un verbo y un adjetivo. Dependiendo de la función que tenga en la oración. Así es la, así es, así es la regla que ha explicado. Oh, casi, casi. Un, casi. Gerund, un gerundio siempre va a ser un nombre. Así, un, siempre es un nombre. Ah. Un gerundio siempre es un nombre. Un participio puede ser un adjetivo o puede ser un verbo, verbo. dentro de una oración. Ok. Oh, casi perfecto. Thank you. So, Jeron o oh, participle, the girl was driving home. Is it a... Is a verb. Is yes. participle. Ah, okay, excellent. So, the first one is participle. Jerry loves painting beautiful landscape. It's a gerund. Okay, it's a gerund. It's the direct object. So here is gerund. Uh, shopping in the mall is fun. It's very possible. Oh, uh, is it a bear? Shopping in the mall is fun. ¿Qué es divertido? Comprar. Comprar, so... Shopping. It's a gerund. It's a gerund, right? In this case, it's functioning as the... Uh, it's a noun con la función de sujeto en esta oración. So, it's gerund. It's a noun. The family watch an interesting movie. The family watched an interesting movie. So interesting. Es It, participle. participle. Okay. Está funcionando como? Participle. Adjective. Adjective. Daniel is a participle. 
after working home all day, I was tired. After working home all day, I was tired. Yeron. Yeron, right? Es un nombre funcionando como objeto de la preposición after. So this is yeron. I put on my running shoes. Participle. Okay, it's a participle again. Participle. I put on my running shoes. Está funcionando como adjetivo, ¿verdad? modificando el nombre shoes, zapatos. I enjoy the cooking classes. I enjoyed yes. the cooking classes. Jeron or participle? Yes, Jeron. Jeron, are you sure? Participle. Yes. No sería clases de cocina. Ajá. Yo disfruto las clases de cocina. Entonces, es un nombre. No. No, 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 no. Es, es para el Es un adjetivo. Es, es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Pueden ser painting clases. Eh, what more? Swimming clases. Then it's an adjective that modifies the noun classes. So in this case, it's participle. Funcionando como, par, como adjetivo, sorry. Y la última, I have to wear the reading glasses. Participle. Participle. Again, it's a... Teacher, I have question. Tell me, what is your question? Um, sentence two. Yes. Por, por qué es gerundio? Pero, no, 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 perdón. En la tercera. No entendí. Oh, porque acá la palabra shopping es un nombre que funciona como sujeto de la oración. Right. Shopping in the mall is fun. In the mall, eh, acá hay una preposición, una prepositional phrase. Si quitamos in the mall, solo nos queda shopping is fun. ¿Qué es divertido? Comprar. Entonces, el sujeto sería shopping. Es un, y como el sujeto responder al objetivo directo. Así es. ¿Qué es divertido? Oh. Comprar. Entonces, es el sujeto de esta oración. In the mall solo es como información extra. Shopping. ¿Comprando dónde? In the mall. Es una preposicional phrase. Podemos quitarla. Si la quitamos, solo nos queda shopping y spam. Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Then shopping. Eh, y el sujeto tiene que ser un nombre. Entonces, es yero, un nombre. That's why. Is okay. it clear now? Is it okay? It's okay. So, tengo que eh, repasar un poquito más. Okay, this is a little bit complicated. Do you have any question? Any other question? Thank you, Jacqueline, for your question. Any other question in this part? No question? Then let's continue. No question. Um, let me erase this. Okay, now it's clear. Okay, look at this example. Participial adjective. Look at this example. Who wants to read number one? Eh, Juan dice, en el caso de la número tres es un yeron porque es una actividad. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Juan. Who wants to read the first example here? Any volunteer? Oh, thank you, Xiomara. Uh, the thirteen cookie, cookie plated made my mom wet it. Okay, excellent. The thirteen cookie 
bladder made my mouth water. And this is an adjective, right? Do you know the meaning? Do you know the meaning of here tenting? I don't no. know. No. no. So it's como as a verb, it means sentador. Uh, sentador que atrae. That is the ah. meaning of the verb, tempt. En este caso, como adjetivo, tempting, tentador. El plato de galletas, de galletas. el tentador plato de galletas. May my Me mouth water. Agua a la boca. <risas> ah, ok, yes. Mm, veamos quién tiene problemas para conectarse. Ah, ok. Eh, the fascinating book was thrilling read. The fascinating book was thrilling read. I have there, I tengo dos verbos with ing. Fascinating and thrilling. Eh, Jeron o part, participle? First is Jeron. Okay. Do you agree with Jacqueline? It's participle. The fascinating book. Oh, okay. That is in the first one. Thank you, Rolando. In the second one, the fascinating book was a thrilling read. And Jacqueline said that it's a Jeron. No, 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 ya cambié de opinión. Ah. <risa> Ay, no, okay. es que si me confundo. Eh, es el mismo caso. Que, yo, yo entiendo que cuando hablamos de cosas, y esa cosa, algo así como el sujeto, es un participio, algo así. Ah, cuando describimos a, ah, a un objeto, se vuelve una cosa, entonces se hace ah, un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Algo así. Ah, entonces así va a ser participio. Va a ser participio, porque un participio puede ser uh, verbo, verbo o puede ser adjetivo. Adjetivo. Ah, y adjetivo. O adjetivo. Verbo o adjetivo. Bueno, en el segundo caso, the fascinating book was a thrilling read. Right. Sí. Participio. 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 Ah, fascinating book es participio. Está describiendo, ¿verdad? O diciendo una cualidad del libro. It's an adjective. Es un participio funcionando como adjetivo. It was a thrilling read. ¿Y qué hay con thrilling? It's participle. It's describe the read. Lectura. How do you oh, say lectura? Yes. Lectura, read. Read. Muy bien. Sí, también es un, es un participio eh, modificando ¿verdad? el nombre read. The interesting story made a compelling point. What about this example? Jeron o participle? Tell me. Participle. Both of them or just one? Teacher, que es compelling, compelling. Okay, it says evoking interest or attention. That is compelling. Es como la historia interesante. Es un, o tiene un buen punto. Tiene un punto interesante. Punto convincente. Así es, entonces, uh, gerund o adjective in this. For me, two interesting and compelling are participle. Okay, both of them are participle. Yes, 
interesting is modifying story and compelling is modifying the noun point. My frustrated experience at the restaurant made me angry. Mi frustradora experiencia en el restaurante me hace, me hizo enojar. Participle. 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 Porque mi frustración es algo que yo tengo. Pero está diciendo que la experiencia que tuvo fue frustrante. Ah, ok. De una cosa. Right, then. Frustrating is an adjective. En este caso, modificando el nombre. Experience. Then is a participle. Is an adjective. Wow, ya que me ganaste. Hoy sí entendí esta. <laughs> This is a satisfying dish. This is a satisfying dish. Participle. Oh, participle, yes, right, again. Está modificando, satisfying is an adjective, modifying the noun dish. This annoying movie is making me want to scream. This annoying movie is movie. making me want to scream. Participle. 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 Okay. Participle. Participle. <laughs> okay. Participle or Geron? Do you agree with Rolando? Participle. Participle. This annoying movie is making me want to scream. Okay. Uh, what is annoying, by the way? This annoying movie is making me want to scream. Oh, it's like, como esta película me pasta o molesta, me está haciendo, me hace querer gritar. Uh, my hardworking father deserves a break. My hardworking father deserves a break. Geron or participle? Adjective, bear or noun? Participle. Participle is adjective. Okay. Describing the noun. Yes. Father. The noun father. Bueno, entonces ya estamos de acuerdo que Geron y participio are different, right? Aunque por la terminación ING en cada uno de los verbos, eh, ese es similar. Pero por la función, por la función dentro de la oración, es que se convierte en un yeron o en un participio. Si funciona como nombre, es un... Yeron. It's a yeron. Si funciona como verbo o adjetivo, es un... Participle. 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 Muy bien. Let's take a look of this exercise. Yes, in a second. Uh, I didn't delete this. Okay. Now we can see this. Se me olvidó quitar la respuesta. Iba a ser muy fácil. Ok. What an amazing movie. I want to watch it again. It's participle. 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 Yes. Amazing. Uh, is it functioning as a verb or as an adjective in the sentence? Adjective. Adjective. Okay, amazing movie. Yes. Speaking English well takes a long time. Is participle is a verb. Participle. Is it a verb? Sí. It's verb. Okay, let me take note. You say Geron. that. 
Number one is a participle, right? Participle. And you say number two is? Jerome. Jerome. Why? Por qué? <laughs> no, I just, I, I just That's think you know that your answer. <laughs> Ay, no. Bravo, que eres para el Ajá. no es un verbo. No dice que hablar inglés. Ay, no. Ya casi, ya casi en inglés fue. Well, ah, time. hablar inglés. Hablar. No que está hablando inglés. No, no, speak English. Ya. Quizá no. lo entendí. Ok. okay. Number three. He cares about getting a good job. He cares about getting a good job. Jeron o participó. Es como un superb. Jeron. Está. Consigue un buen trabajo. Está cerca de. Icars. Es de como. Obtener... A él. Okay. ok. Él está interesado acerca de obtener un buen trabajo. O él. Cuida acerca de tener un buen trabajo. So, Jero no participó. Jero, Jero. Ok. Jero, Jero. Porque es un verbo. No, no, no. No es porque es un verbo. Es porque ¿Por es un nombre. Ah, ah okay. recuerden. Los gerundios, Jero, solo son nouns. nouns. Solo son nombres. nombres. O sea, puedes... es un verbo, ¿verdad? Pero ahí no. <risa> ah. ya me confundiste. Por eso Bye. me equivoco, porque me confundo yo también. Bye. Um, en este caso, en el número 3, el number 3, getting, y es a noun. Es un ah, okay. nombre que está funcionando como objeto de la preposición about. Then it's a noun. Acerca so, de conseguir. Así es, entonces si ah. es un nombre, es un Jerome. Es un Jerome. Yes, es un Jerome. Jerome. Ok, ya casi, ya casi. Number four. I Así am, estamos. I am trying to sleep. <ríe> no, aquí dice la oración. En la oración estoy, dice aquí. I am trying to sleep. Tratando de dormir o sí. Yes. Entonces, participo. Isabel. Porque dice tratando, termina en algo. Ah, ok. Participio. Participio. Ok, you say number four is participle because it participle. is unfair. Ok, I'm taking another your answer. Number five, my friends and I were sitting in a cafe and talking. Sitting and talking, gerund or participle. Gerund? I think it's here. Participle. It's uh, ambos. Jerome and participle. No, I'm sorry. No pueden ser ambos. No, 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 no. Sitting is Jerome. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Los dos son Jerome. Jerome. Ah, como. Are you? Are you? Porque, porque dice mi amigo y yo estábamos sentados en el café platicando. Son Jerón. Okay. Jerón. Seguros. Pueden ser verbos los Jerón. No, pues es que por eso estoy diciendo que. que ahí se puede. <laughs> okay. Look at this. My friends and I were sitting in a cafe in Tolkien. En este caso son verbos, están en pasado, pasado progresivo. Mis amigos y yo estábamos sentados y hablando. ¿Y si son verbos? Sí, si son verbos. Es participo. Ok, si son verbos son participo. Number six. The direction were very confusing. Participo is adjective. Ok. Están muy confusas. Then, no. then you say number six, participle, as an adjective. 
And number seven, they had been standing for a long time and want to take a break. Bear. It's a bear. They, bear had, they had been standing for a long time and want to take a Parishable. break. Participle. Eh, como adjetivo o como verbo? Verbo. Okay. Oh, verbo. As a verb. Then you say seven participle. And the last one, she loves traveling. Is participle. Verb. Ah, no, it's no, no, It's participle. Adjective. Ama, ama viajar. No, ella ama a, viajar. Ama viajar, verbo. No, es, es digamos, es nombre. Viajar. It's Jeron. It's a Jeron. You say it's a Jeron. Okay. Hey, solo por eso me ayuda, profe, en este último. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, here are the answers. Number one, it's an adjective, and you say it was a participle, so you were right. Excellent. Es un participio como adjetivo. Number two, Jeron. It's a Jeron. Speaking English, well, takes a long time. It's a noun. Number three, it's a Jeron too. I am trying to sleep. Oh, sorry. It's getting, getting. He cares about getting a good job. So getting is acting as a noun. Number four, it's a bird. You were right too. Number five, you say it's a participle. Bird and bird. Si sí, era un participio. Number six, you say it's a participle. Yes, it is. It is acting as an adjective. Number seven, you say it's a participle. Yes, it is. It's a bird. And the last one, number eight, Rolando, you were right. It's a Jeron. Excellent. Okay, is it easy or difficult to identify Jeron in participle? It's difficult for me. <laughs> okay, yes, you have to take a look of this information here. Okay, here, this, this part. Don't forget about this. Jerons siempre van a ser now. Siempre van a ser nombres. Participles, participios, van, pueden ser adjetivos y también pueden ser los verbos. ¿verdad? En los diferentes tiempos donde se utiliza ING. ¿Cuál? Yes, es que me confundo ah. a la hora de identificarlo como nombre. Ok, ahora es lo mismo gerundio que participio. No, right. It's not the same, aunque se escriban igual en la forma ING de los verbos, dependiendo de la función dentro de la oración, va a ser un Jeron o va a ser un participle. Questions? Do you have any question about tonight's class? No question, teacher. For a moment. No question? For moment. Ah, ok. <laughs> Okay, that's great. Um, so, just give me a second. I'm going to finish the presentation here. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday. What are we celebrating tomorrow? What are we celebrating tomorrow? The Father's yes. Day. Father Day. Oh, it's okay. dinner. Father's Day. Ah, you are going to have a dinner? Yes, in my house. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. So are we invited? Yes, yes, yes. Con todo. De todo vengan. Ah, okay. <laughs> tipo siete le llegamos. Aquí okay. les espero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Esto so... voy a estar en la playa. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you to your father, right? Say thank you. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Eh, give him a huge hug. Dele un buen abrazo. Eh, mañana, ¿verdad? Disfruten el día. 
eh, si aún tienen la oportunidad, aprovechen la verdad. Take advantage of that holiday. So, let's see if you don't have any other question. Just please, don't forget about the platform, right? Yo sé que mañana es feriado y todo, pero también mañana van a revisar los resultados de la sección número cuatro. De la sección número cuatro. Ya terminaron este es todos. Yes. El examen final casi. Ya, ya casi. Ya ah, terminaste. Okay. Me faltan yeah. las últimas dos. Ya tenemos un día. <risa> Hey, ¿Quién me Exacto. va a dar copia? ¿Quién me sí, da copia? Los últimos ya dos. tiene lista la copia, dice. Menos de Gerudio, ahí no puedo dar. Exactamente, es, es eso, cabal. <risa> es, eso no. Ay, hey, Xiomara, ¿qué pasa, mi amiga Xiomara? <risa> es que me salen mal, y ahí estoy, dale, 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 por ah. más que. Pero eso es lo interesante de la plataforma, que usted puede intentar todas las veces que necesite. Y igual no le baja puntos, ¿verdad? Cuando claro. logra poner la correcta, igual obtiene el puntaje. Eh, tell me, Henry. Eh, una consulta. A mí me hace falta una pregunta en la 4, pero no llego al 80%. Si todas están al 80%. ¿Y cuál es? Eh, a, a, ahorita. Bueno, dígame qué número es. En, el, en el chat, decime si querés. Ah, ok. Ahorita oh. estoy en el chat. Ok. Ahí está. Ahí ya que nos va a dar copia. Vale, ¿qué, ¿qué número es? What is the question? Está encendida. Ahorita te eché. Vámonos al examen final de una vez. Porque... Ok, final test. Sí. <laughs> Sección number four, you say. Uh, four, four, six. Let me see, 46, 46 is this one. Okay, what's the answer? Oh, sorry, what is the problem? What is uh, the time? And two, and three. Number two, two and three. Yes. Okay, aquí tenemos que escribir preguntas. But tengo la respuesta, I'm 173 centimeters. Entonces, how, es una pregunta. How, how, tall, yes. how tall are you? How tall are, are you? Are you? Ah, okay. How tall are you? Sí, me debes una, Henry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, he is tall what? and very good looking. ¿El cuál? ¿El tri? What does he look, what does look like? What does he look like? Claro. Well, ya que pasame la copia del final mejor. Todavía no he llegado ahí. Ya <laughs> he look like. David, do you see? He, perdón. He eh, look like. Look like. What does he look like? That is the question. He's tall and very good looking. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Does it work? Le debo una soda. Bueno. <risa> ya, ya que la escribí, voy a darle. Una horchata es también. más saludable. Okay. <risa> que me suba el puntaje también. Ahí está. Thank you so much. Ya que le Rolando. Okay. Okay. Gracias, Gracias, teacher. Gracias por Happy. la copia. Thank you. Gracias. Happy weekend. Okay. Happy. Enjoy your weekend. See you See on the Monday. Monday. Bye bye. 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 Bye.